It's the last day of the high school for all the students and staff. The senior adults are wild and unruly, playing pranks on their classmates and teachers. The English teacher, Andy Campbell's parking lot, is occupied by a student on a scooter, and he's too calm and sensitive to do anything. History teacher Ron Strickland is the school's most feared and strict teacher. He confronts two kids who have thrown a 1971 national championship bat in trash. Strickland orders them to put the bat in its place right now, or it won't end good for them. Some of the teachers are worried as they have tests later in the day that will decide the fate of their jobs. Another teacher in the staff room, fed up with the students and management's behavior, decides to quit. He picks up some stuff to take his compensation, but Strickland comes and scolds him from taking anything. As Andy attempts his last class, he as usual gets humiliated by the students. He gets pulled out by guidance counselor Holly Grossman to tell him that some of the other English teachers have got fired, so his job might be safe. He gets really happy that the rest of the English department is safe from the students. Later some students can be seen saying that Neil will prank Strickland today, and this is going to be epic. Andy calls his wife who is expecting a second child, and talks to his daughter about her dance competition. As Andy was going back to his class, Strickland stops him, and asks for his help to fix the AV. He hesitates, saying that he has to take class, but he threatens him with a knife, and takes him to his class. Strickland is playing a video on a VCR, but notices that the picture will play for a few seconds before turning off. Andy recommends him to give a free period to students, but he angrily denies. Andy finds out that a student is controlling the screen with a remote. He tells Strickland about the kid. Furious, he smashes his phone to the wall. The student then passes another remote to Neil, who turns the screen off again. Strickland gets furious and throws the rack down, takes a broom, and started breaking the furniture. Students got terrified and left the class. Strickland then says to Andy that all the teachers must stick together. In the next scene, the enraged school principal Richard Tyler shows his messed up room and says that he doesn't even have time for cleaning. Andy says that he might talk to Neil to discuss about this matter, but the principal says that he will fire the whole department. Andy points his finger at Strickland and says that he did it. He tries to cover up the situation by calling it an accident. Principal immediately fires Strickland and orders them to leave. Strickland gets furious at Andy and says that they both will have a fist fight in the parking lot and everyone will watch. Andy clarifies his position that he has to go to a talent hunt with his daughter, and his baby is also on the way, so he needs this job the most. Bell rings, students come in between and they stare at each other. Andy goes to the class and delivers the lecture in a shaking voice. A student Nathaniel raises his hand and asks him to why he is having a fight with Strickland. This news spread like fire and now everyone in the school knows it. He then goes to Ms. Grossman, who asks him the reason to why he agreed to the fight. She tells him various rumors about Strickland, that he was part of a gang, killed terrorists, played piano with fiery eyes and much more. He gets terrified. Coach and Grossman give a lecture to him about how to fight with Strickland. The coach then recommends him to never run back from Strickland. Andy thanks him and says that he will find some other way. He goes inside where he saw Strickland. They both look at each other, one fiercely and the other intimidated. Mar, the school security guard, runs after students who are about to bunk. He tries to stop them, but they manage to leave successfully. Andy comes to Mar to ask him about Strickland's car still in the school, though he is fired. He replies that he will evacuate after the school hours pass. Andy asks for his help in the fist fight, but he refuses, saying that he can do anything if it is during the school time, and if he knocks him down unconscious, he will save him after the school time begins. Ms. Monet approaches Strickland after hearing about the fight. Since she thinks Andy is a pervert, she suggests to Strickland that he use a knife against him. Andy tries to get Neil to take his word back on the classroom incident. Neil demands a MacBook Pro in return. Andy feels helpless, so he agrees. He rushes to the Apple store, buys the laptop, and runs into his wife and daughter. They ask him why he is here at this time and not in his class. He covers up the situation and says that he bought a MacBook for his wife. He also says to his daughter that she will win the talent show. They both leave and he rushes to the store again, hands over all his cards and asks for another laptop. In the next scene, he is sitting with Neil in the principal's office. Neil lies to the principal that he did everything because he was angry at Strickland. Principal finds the two statements contradictory. Andy twists the whole story and convinces the principal into restoring Strickland's position back. Both Andy and Strickland are called into the Model UN room for a mediation. Andy tells Strickland that the issue was resolved and he got his job back, 
But Strickland is even more mad over this, since Andy didn't talk to him about it. The fight is still on. Andy makes a police call to report the impending beatdown. The operators on the other end laugh when Andy tells them he's a teacher about to get beaten by another teacher. He goes to take a class where he again got pranked. He is tied to a horse which runs in the corridor. Same thing happened with the coach as well. They both talk in the dressing room that the pranks are getting violent. Grossman comes in. Andy says that he is going to put a legal case on Strickland. He plans to set Strickland up by planting drugs in his classroom and getting him arrested. Andy gets the drugs from Neil. On his way to Strickland's class, he runs into Tyler, who tells him his evaluation is now at 2.15, which reminds him of his daughter's talent show which is at 2.30. Andy puts the drug sack in Strickland's bag and watches the situation from the ground. Grossman says that dogs cannot smell drugs. She gives him weed to put in his bag. He takes it and jumps back to his class. Strickland, already sitting there, comes forward with an iron axe and asks him the reason to why he planted drugs in his bag. He threatens him, uttering that he will break every bone of his body. Andy lights up the weed, opens the door and calls the police which was standing nearby the class. The police comes in, and Andy puts all the blame on Strickland, who abuses the police as well. Both Strickland and Campbell get arrested. In their cell, Andy blames Strickland for getting them into this mess. He then goes over to a big inmate and tells him that Strickland called him a bitch and that he wants to fight him. He tells the big guy to look out for Strickland, nodding as the signal. Andy goes back over to him to instigate things. But he says the fight is off since he only did it to prove a point and that the school doesn't care about what goes on if students are running around uncontrollably. And that Andy isn't even a man enough to fight. When Andy tries to clarify that the fight is off, Strickland nods, bringing the big inmate over. He then realizes that Andy set them up, so he takes down the big guy with a sleeper hold and tells Andy the fight is still on. The police officer comes in and reports their leave. The clock strikes two and Andy runs to the school for the interview. Crawford comes out and tells Andy that he, Paulie, and Munnett have all gotten fired. Andy then barges into Tyler's office and sees him listening to a story from the superintendent. Tyler says that they've fired enough teachers for the day and must discuss upcoming changes to the school. When Andy asks the reason, Tyler says it's none of his business. Andy finally puts his foot down and speaks up against the exploitation. He asks for his rights and asks them to improve their management. He also tells them that they sucks at their jobs and leaves. He then rushed to his daughter's school for the talent show, but he is too late as she has done a pitiful solo performance. Andy asks his wife to play the big scene song and runs to his daughter. They dance on the song together which was a reply to a bully named Trisha. He apologizes for the strong language at the end, and they both go backstage. Students break a huge round of applause for her while Trisha looks astonished. Her daughter then asks him to where he is going, and he replies to a fist fight. He has learned to stand for himself. He goes to school, with the unshaking confidence and heads to the ground for the fist fight. Students divided into two parties, start cheering up their fighter. Strickland knocks him down at the very first punch, but the fight takes a turn. He gets up and attacks him. Several other items also become a part of the fist fight, such as the baseball bat and tennis racket. Andy goes inside the campus and everybody comes in. The fight took multiple twists and turns. Eventually, Andy knocks him down with a fire extinguisher spray and a hit in the head. His supporters cheer him, he screams that he will never stop fighting for himself, his family and the school. Strickland comes and punches him right in the face, knocking him down. His wife calls and gives the news that she is in labor. Strickland wakes him up and tells him about his wife. Andy then goes to the hospital and explains everything he's been through that day and that he is finally going to stand up for himself. His wife gives birth to a baby girl. Fast forward a few months, they have a garden party with all the teachers. Principal Tyler comes and tells Andy that the fight attracted a lot of attention to the school board, and he must ask both him and Strickland to return to work, because his own job now depends on it. He agrees to rejoin on one condition that all teachers will also be called back. The school starts again and all the teachers thanks him. Andy becomes a strict teacher to maintain the discipline. Strickland says that he should not be the scariest one as it is for him only. They did a high five and the two then headed off to teach their new classes. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.